But let's turn now to Media Watch, and James Creedon joins me now on set. Hey, Julia. James. So uh, your first, uh, let's talk about the Greek-Turkish border. We've obviously had a lot of reactions to the crisis. That's right. So a lot of coverage of that uh, today and reactions. I'll start with this article in Le Monde over the weekend, which says that this is the biggest humanitarian horror story of the 21st century. Of course, this is kind of what's behind this border crisis between Greece and Turkey. It's the major uh, catastrophe, humanitarian catastrophe in Idlib, uh, where there's a standoff between Ankara, Moscow and uh, uh, Moscow, of course, backing up Bashar al-Assad's forces uh, and uh, facing off, basically, with Ankara. And as a result of that standoff, a humanitarian catastrophe of uh, up to 900,000 people, mostly women and children, having to flee. And that has had a knock-on effect then in um, Turkey's, I suppose, burden from uh, them coming over the border and then the fact that Erdogan has sort of basically said, off you go into Europe. And so what we've seen here is a sort of an information war on social media that is replicating the real life, um, I suppose, conflict. This is a video that the Turkish authorities have released showing a Greek uh, coast guard appearing to sort of um, uh, basically treat very badly a, a group, a, a boat uh, 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 full of migrants. And it looks like they were being pushed away. They were being refused. Um, they, they couldn't refuel. Uh, a, quite a violent and aggressive attitude uh, taken by the Greek Coast Guard. So that has generated, apparently it was playing in a loop all day on, on Turkish television. Um, and indeed, many people re responding to it saying uh, that uh, this was, um, this uh, that uh, this is, um, if I could find the exact uh, comment here. This is a disgrace, says one Turkish commentator. Another uh, saying basically, is this an example of Greek hospitality? Um, this is how Greece is treating refugees. Shame on Europe. So they were the kind of reactions people uh, were coming out with. Um, other reactions from within Greece. This is Yanis Varoufakis, the quite well-known former finance minister, uh, kind of quite left wing. He is saying we need to focus on humanity and dignity, not, not militarization, walls and national hysteria. He's talking about resisting the militarization of the Greek-Turkish uh, border. Other reactions that we've been seeing as well um, coming from the Greek islands, actually locals really just feeling like they've reached saturation point with this ongoing crisis and actually uh, taking out some of their ire on NGOs. Some, of even, some people even talking about those NGOs being malevolent um, because they're sort of facilitating the wave, uh, wave of migrants. So there's, you know, it, it, it's become a powder keg, really. Uh, this, this, these are images of Greeks on the island of Lesbos burning uh, a UNHCR migrant reception centre. So uh, the tensions are very, very high indeed. Some people kind of defending uh, Turkey in, in, in one or two uh, tweets, saying they're hosting 3.7 million Syrian refugees, according to this count, and they deserve the gratitude of humanity and sort of juxtaposing Europe's response and Turkey's response. Uh, I'll finish with this remark, say, one journalist covering it saying, you know, actually, as soon as you cover the Turkish Greek uh, story uh, in, in, in any form, it becomes toxic. It's just there's an awful lot of bad blood there anyway and uh, differing points of view. Mm, it seems like it looking at these tweets. Um, mm. Well, let's turn now to France and the reactions continue uh, to the French equivalent of the Oscars, the Césars. Tell us more about that. All right, so Roman Polanski got uh, the top director award uh, last Friday. It provoked uh, a, a walkout by some who were at the, uh, uh, the ceremony, uh, uh, including this actress, Adèle Enel, who said to, to give Polanski this award is to spit in the faces of his victims. Of course, he was convicted of uh, raping a, a minor in 1977 using uh, drugs and whatnot. And, and this is the letter really of the day or the opinion piece of the day that has grabbed most attention. It's written by Virginie Despont, who is a French novelist and a filmmaker. And she, it's just a really emotional, angry uh, piece of writing saying uh, that this is not just about uh, men's treatment of uh, women or, or uh, victims of uh, rape and whatnot. This is something much more to do with a culture of power and a culture of um, unaccountability, how dom dominators treat the dominated. And it goes beyond the world of French cinema from her point of view. She cites uh, issue, the, the problem of police violence in France, the use of uh, the Article 49.3 of the Constitution, which allows for uh, legislation to be uh, rammed through without actually a vote, uh, which is what happened on Saturday for uh, aspects of retirement reform, which has been such a, a, a hot button issue over the last few months. And basically, the Prime Minister used this very controversial uh, constitutional tool uh, to get around uh, the usual um, institutional requirements. And so she said, look, this is an attitude of power, uh, which basically uh, is akin to shut up or you'll be forced to shut up in 
important when it comes to how um, people have to deal with the powers that be in whatever sector it is. Uh, her conclusion was, this system is unbearable, the air is, has become unbreathable, let's stand up and walk out. So it was a real uh, cri de coeur, I think you could say. Some people think she should be running for president in 2022, others saying, actually, she's mixing everything up, you can't talk about cinema and, and policing and whatever, it's, it's too confused and it's not, uh, it's, it's, it's not, uh, it lacks reasoning. But it got a lot of comment. Right, James, I'm afraid we'll have to leave it there. But thank you very much Thanks, for that, James Cooley, there with Media Watch today. Well, there's more news coming up in just a few minutes.